RBGFM, locals talking to locals. Time to welcome back into the studio on a Monday afternoon, Hannah Swartz, Kapiti Coast District Council's Green Gardener. Hi, Hannah. Oh, kia ora, Tanya. Busy weekend in the garden, or did you sort of dip in and out yeah, amongst the uh, changeable amongst weather? The yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's yeah, definitely quite a bit happening. Yeah. Yeah, things are growing. Things yeah, I know, growing. my lawn is. And, yeah, the tomatoes are, are ripening, so yeah. that's good. If you can get to them before the birds. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. But um, one thing that I have been doing is sort of, it's that time of year when you sort of evaluate what worked and what didn't work in the mm. garden. And, of course, that's always dependent on what type of weather the, the weather throws at us, and mm. that's beyond our control. But um, And this year was quite a challenge for lots of gardeners, especially the, with the early summer just being so dry. Yeah, I reckon. Basically, November and December were, you know, it didn't rain. Yeah. So, it, But it was a really good chance to test out some of the irrigation systems that we set up last summer um, that didn't really get ch- tested. So that was the barrel systems that I think I've talked about a bit. Um, yeah where you set up a blue barrel and then have a leaky hose running off it. So, um, yeah, we've found some of them have worked really well, some of them not so well, but the ones that have worked the best are where we've had a bit of gravity. So we've either got the barrel a little way up a hill Mm -hmm. and that is sort of helping with enough pressure to push the water through the seat hoses. Mm -hmm. We have been finding some of those rubber seat hoses are perishing. I mean, this is after a good, you know, five, ten years. Mm. Um, and and it's also, if they're in the harsh sun, sunlight, they they do sort of get a bit crumbly and disintegrate a bit. So um, we've learned to either cover, up, cover them up mm-hmm. with mulch or just bury them a little bit when you're at planting time. Um, but the other thing that we've tried, which I can't fully report on yet, but I will be looking at, is you're just using normal rope as a wick. So instead of laying the seep hose along the, say, a row of potatoes, you have your barrel, you've got a hose running off the barrel, and then the hose sort of joins onto just a normal piece of rope, just a cheap old polypropylene rope. Yeah. And that seems to be working really well. The wow. water sort of runs along the rope in a capillary wick sort of action. So we're just trying to work out how long, you know, how far the water will run. And yeah. how. Anyway, it's been, a, um, it's definitely something that I'll be able to talk about a lot more at the beginning of next summer. Because the, the thing with these systems is, and especially what we learned this year, is it's really good to get them set up in October. Well, it's know, trial early. and error, isn't it? Though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hmm. But, that's um, yeah. interesting, having it like a rope as a wick. But Yeah, yeah. You don't necessarily need to buy a lot of fancy equipment. No, exactly. Hmm. Right, that's Hannah Swartz. Of course, she's Kapiti Coast District Council's Green Gardener and eternally busy in the garden. But if you've got a community group that you want to get together, say a group of five or more people, you can email Hannah and get her to come and visit you. Just make it worth your while, though, not just one person. Get a group together and email her, greengardener at kapitycoast.govt.nz. Otherwise, you can catch her here on Beach FM Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays. All right, Hannah, we'll see you tomorrow. Afternoon. Oh, kia ora. 106.3 BGFM.